That's a good one right there. We just said we hadn't caught a fish off them trees this morning. And pop, big old female. Keep forgetting them. Not nice my one. kayak. Nice one. <laughs> I'm like pulling him up like I'm in my kayak. Anyway, well, this morning we are at Lake Darbon again in an area that I have fished before in my kayak, but I've got my dad with me. Seekers of men. He's down there getting the live well ready. But uh, we're out here. We got the first one in the boat. It is very cool this morning. It's in the 40s. So, hey. We're going to see what we can find. Maybe I'll get him to teach you guys something special today. Hold him. Hold we'll him see. out. There you go. All right. We got our picks. We got our crappie. Let's get back after it. So we're starting out this morning, just so you kind of know. We've got the, uh, what is this, bluegrass? We've got a little bluegrass with a uh, pink, pink head with a big eye. So, and a loop knot, which I've showed you that loop knot. If you haven't seen it, go back, look at, I think the last video should be pretty easy to find. So anyway, if you're interested in that kind of knot, I know a lot of people will run different kinds, but that is that. So we can find some more this morning. It is Good Friday. I hope you guys are going somewhere for Easter, um, celebrating the Risen King this weekend. So with that, find you a church home and find you a body of water and let's go fish. Oof. Come on, man. <sighs> All right. All right. We got a nice black one. It's got his nice tuxedo on. A good one. Watch you with him. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Same tree. Immediate drop back in. I wouldn't have stopped my camera. We'd have caught those in a matter of no time together, so. Nice. Told you. Told you I saved him for you. Oh yeah, right in my lap. What you call service with a smile right here. Oh! He's fishing a little hair jig. How about that? Look at that guy. Got you one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him up there. You gonna make a little, you. you gonna make a little that's a little bitty one. Hey, come on, man. You make me look like I caught all the small ones. Take him off so he can get right back up in there. Y'all got one of those friends that makes you take all of his fish off his line? Let me know right down here below. Oh, yeah, I seen that and hit it. Mm -hmm. I seen that and pop it. I seen that and pop it. There it is. <sighs> He popped it. Gotcha. All right, crazy enough, same tree. So I got this little reel right here, Dad. This little Zebco. Yeah. Nineteen dollars. What they retail for? It ain't on sale. That's just what kind really of line you got on there? I don't know. Whatever came on it. Oh. <laughs> it came with line. Oh, did it? For $19. Oh, that's monofable. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I hear you. <coughs> yeah, I hear you. Seems to work. Catches fish. 
There you go. I didn't want to, I was, I bought it one night and I was going fishing the next morning. I didn't feel like stringing it up. So I wanted one with fishing line already on it. <laughs> I don't use monofilament, I use fluorocarbon. And you can tell a difference in, uh, with a live scope and monofilament and the fluorocarbon. You'll see it. Cause I mean, the only difference in mono and fluorocarbon is uh, the fluorocarbon has all that air and trained out of it. You see it better on live scope with? You can't see it on live scope unless you. Oh, floral? Unless you fluorocarbon, unless oh, you, yeah. uh, unless you, you create a. Uh, Some bubbles? Air, yeah. Move your line, you know, jerk it or something. Yeah. Causes bubbles. So you can see that mono a lot better? Yeah. I got you. There you go. So we're not running live scope at the moment. We do have it right here. We're just kind of rolling around these trees, so. What do y'all think about the line situation with live scope? You had any experiences with it? So, that's his take. Oh, yeah. Big old male. Yep, 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 yep. You got it? Try to get his back up. I got it. I got a hold of it. Ah, there we go. Got another one. Our producer this morning, that's uh, number three, I believe, on the second tree, maybe four. Shoo! Beautiful. Beautiful crappie. My thumb. Mm. Oh, look at this right here, would you? Need a net or anything? Maybe. That's pretty good fish. Oh, gosh, dang, they went my drag. Damn it. They went my drag, Dad. Oh, you still got him, most. Awesome. Yeah, let me bring him over this way. Whew, I got it. I got it. He tried to, he tried yeah, to let him get, get off. <laughs> That's a good one right there. We just said we hadn't caught a fish off them trees this morning. And pop, big old female. Had my drag set so loose when I went to a boat flipper. Just went and flung right back in, but luckily she is hooked good, so. Gah! Same spot. Miss Miller? Yeah, right there. Slow. Trying to knock them off. That's a nice one. Nice. Hey, Ed. He keeps trying to knock them off, man. <laughs> That's what I got to do. He won't let me catch any. There you go. <laughs> got him. Ooh, that's a pretty one. He tapped it. Went right back in there on him. It's a thing a lot of times. If you have one, especially if you don't pull them up or anything like that, sometimes even if you pull them up, but if they just tap it and knock it away, if you drop immediately back down in there, they're already pretty aggressive and sometimes they'll re-hit it pretty quick. So that appears to be what happens just then. All right, well, we are making a move. We caught a few out here this morning. A lot of people out fishing. Uh, a lot of people came down. Huh? 
What's that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he likes his new trolling motor. We're gonna make a move, try a different little area, and uh, see what we can happen. Make happen. See what we can make happen. Got him, sir. Ah, we got him. Here, I got him. I got a line out now. Well, I'm just saying so you can watch it. Deal. Thank you. Boom. About eight inches of line out, right up next to the bank. Old wasp on there, huh? Yeah, you know. Just try something. Baby crawfish. <laughs> yeah. That too. All right, let's go to the back end. Yeah. Hmm. Let me get this one. Well, never mind. Let me get this one in. Get that fish first. Let me get this one in real quick. Whew. Just put on the new bait. Mm -hmm. A little LNB jig right there go look it up a little mark 117 number six that'd be a wasp there we go right there boom around here first bait time. first cast first fish she <sighs> That's a wrap. It's a quick morning up here at uh, Lake Narbonne on Good Friday. <laughs> it wasn't a bad Friday. Yeah, it was a good Friday. That's right, it was a good it was Friday. A good Friday. We caught some fish, and uh, I don't know if we learned anything today, but we did catch some fish. Did we learn anything today? Yeah, I know front of the boat does better. I learned that. How about that? He was running trolling motor, so he could have, you know, I guess. Rear-ended me? Not Say it again? Not front-ended me. You could have rear-ended me. I could have. Yeah. But if I don't catch another crappie, I'm <laughs> I, I'm pretty good. So, yep. There you go. So that what do you is think? That. That's that. Didn't really use live scope too much today. It was, uh, it was pretty much we were just fishing shallow. We was fishing old school. Old school. Old school. <coughs> we didn't need a live scope. Not doing that. No, no. No live scope needed today. So that was that. Anyway, make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys uh, for watching. You did say something about uh, the cypress knees in the shallow. So when you're working that jig. I did. Sometimes. When you're around, good. yeah. When you're in them cypress knees and it's and at about a foot of water, you'd be surprised how many crappie you can catch. It's, and just when you go in there, it's a bunch of knees and all. They're moving around, so just. Kind of moving? take and move your jig just real slow along and pow, want to pop it. You know that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But anyway, so, that's just another technique. Just kind of swim your jig around them knees. Because the crappie are moving, not the knees. It's what? The crappie are moving, not the knees. Right. There you go. <laughs> All right. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Seekers of Men on Facebook. Go to the Facebook page, check that out. He'll be on there posting some good stuff, good tips and all kind of goodies. So, Catch you later, crappie that is. All right. Hey, y'all have a good one. Live your best life. See y'all. Where's he at real quick? Show him to me real quick while we're up <laughs> in the tree. See the black one, didn't you? Yeah. There you go, black. Got it? Yeah. It's nice.
bats up in here on the bed too. Yeah. Yeah, no interest in my jig.